pick a color. B L U E. Pick a number. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick one more number. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pick another number. Six. Okay. Dream is destiny. Actually, there's only one instant, and it's right now, and it's eternity. And it's an instant in which God is posing a question. And that question is basically, do you want to, you know, be one with eternity? Do you want to be in heaven? Actually, there's only one instant, and it's right now, and it's eternity. And it's an instant in which God is posing a question. And that question is basically, do you want to, you know, be one with eternity? Do you want to be in heaven? And we're all saying, no thank you, not just yet. And so time is actually just this constant saying no to God's invitation. I mean, that's what time is. I mean, and it's no more 50 AD than it's 2001, you know? I mean, there's just this one instant and that's what we're always in. So many think because then happened, now isn't. But didn't I mention the ongoing wow is happening right now. The best films, you know, are the ones that aren't like tied to that slavishly. So, um, so I don't know, the whole narrative thing, it just seems to me like, um, that, you know, God obviously, and that like everything, he believes for him reality and God are the same, you know, like, and so what film is actually capturing is like God incarnate, creating, you know, and like this very moment, like, you know, um, God is manifesting as this. And what the film would capture if it was filming us right now would be like God as this table and God as you and God as me and God looking the way we look right now and saying and thinking what we're thinking right now because that is, you know, we are all God manifest in that sense. Not futile, we're gonna win this thing. Humankind is too good. We're not a bunch of underachievers. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna be human beings. We're gonna get fired up about the real things, the things that matter, creativity and the dynamic human spirit that refuses to submit. What are you writing? A novel. What's the story? There's no story. It's just people, gestures, moments, bits of rapture, fleeting emotions. In short, the greatest stories ever told. <laughs> was in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, but on the way to Vegas. So, you know, every once in a while, a car would pull in, get gas. It was the last gas stop before Vegas. He turns around, he's got no shirt on, he's sweating. He's built like a brick shed house. pulls out a knife, 12 inches long, and then starts running at me as fast as he can, going, ha! It might be true that there are six billion people in the world and counting. Nevertheless, what you do makes a difference. It makes a difference, first of all, in material terms, makes a difference to other people, and it sets an example. And in short, I think the message here is that we should never simply write ourselves off and see ourselves as the victim of various forces. It's always our decision who we are. You got a match? No, no. What are, you, what are you? No, what I'm trying to say is that. What's your point? Somehow, I believe reincarnation is just a, a poetic expression of what collective memory really is. So it's like once the answers are out there, you know, people can pick up on them. It's like we're all telepathically sharing our experiences. So film is actually like a record of God, or of the face of God, or of the ever-changing face of God. You have a mosquito. Do you want me to get it for you? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. And like, a whole Hollywood thing is just taking like film. Hmm. The blonde bee, the firefly, Frank Mantis, snake. 
Lunatic macaroni munchkin with my good gut. Venerable tradition of sorcerers, shamans, and other visionaries who have developed and perfected the art of dream travel, the so-called lucid dream state, whereby consciously controlling your dreams, you're able to discover things beyond your capacity to apprehend in your awake state. You know, they say that dreams are real only as long as they last. Couldn't you say the same thing about life? I had a friend once who told me that the worst mistake that you can make is to think that you are alive. When really you're asleep in life's waiting room. The trick is to combine your waking rational abilities with the infinite possibilities of your dreams. Because if you can do that, you can do anything. Actually, there's only one instant, and it's right now, and it's eternity. And it's an instant in which God is posing a question. And that question is basically, do you want to, you know, be one with eternity? Do you want to be in heaven? And we're all saying, no, thank you. Not just yet. And so time is actually just this constant saying no to God's invitation. I mean, that's what time is. I mean, and it's no more 50 AD than it's 2001, you know? I mean, there's just this one instant, and that's what we're always in. And then she tells me that actually this is the narrative of everyone's life. That, you know, behind the phenomenal difference, there is but one story. And that's the story of moving from the no to the yes. All of life is like, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. And then ultimately it's, yes, I give in. Yes, I accept. Yes, I embrace. I mean, that's the journey. I mean, everyone gets to the yes in the end, right? Right. Yeah, but I mean, like, how did you, how did you finally get out of the dream? See, that's my problem. I'm, I'm like, I'm trapped. I keep, I keep thinking that I'm waking up, but I'm still in a dream. It seems like it's going on forever. I can't get out of it, and I want to wake up for real. How do you really wake up? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very good at that anymore. But um, if that's what you're thinking, I mean, you, you probably should. I mean, you know, if you can wake up, you should. Because, you know, someday, you know, you won't be able to. So just, um, but it's easy. You know, just, just wake up.